What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on fixing an issue with Steam and EA Games or EA Play. So over here I have my Steam window. If I head across to the library section and locate an EA Play game and then click play. At this point, we may see a pop-up like this. Like a superhero and his alter ego, Origin and Origin Beta can't operate at the same time. Close Origin Beta first, boot up Origin, and then you can launch your game from either Origin or Steam. This was a very confusing error to get, as a couple of days ago I got this popping up on my screen, even though EA Desktop and Origin were completely closed, I restarted and I had the same issue. How exactly did I get this to pop up again? Well, I simply opened up the EA Desktop Beta, but of course, at the time of receiving this error for the first time, that wasn't open at all. So of course I got this error without either of these programs open, how exactly did I go ahead and fix it? Well, first of all, click close and minimize your Steam. Then right click on your start bar and click task manager or hit control shift escape to bring up this window. From here, assuming you've gone into the EA desktop beta, click the top left and exit and you've exited out of the actual origin window itself, you were getting that error without either of them open, what do we do from here? Well, on this list, simply scroll all the way to the bottom and look for something like EA Background Service and make sure you right click on it and click End Task. Basically, we're looking for the EA Desktop logo, which is the ready orangey EA icon or the origin icon that we're familiar with, just the O. After scrolling down a bit more, I find another one, Origin Web Helper Service. Right click, End Task. Scrolling down even more, I don't think we have anything else, and the Windows Processor section, you don't have to scroll through. Once you've done that, open up Steam and see if you can relaunch the game. Now, of course, this will work for me as I wasn't having the issue currently, but at the time of having the issue the first time, closing all of these background processes didn't help. I even went to the Details tab at the very top, which sometimes shows more applications than the Processes tab. Scrolling down to the very bottom here, there wasn't a single EA or Origin related program running. Rather annoying. So what I did from here to successfully launch an EA game from Steam was to in fact open up Origin. As annoying as it is, we do still need to use this platform even though we own the games on Steam, we pay for EA Play on Steam, it still goes through Origin itself. Then once Origin is open, you can head across to your library and you'll see the games that you have on Steam and you'll see the games that you own on Steam indicated by the Steam icon right below them. If I simply scroll down to a game I'd like to play that I have on Steam, you'll see the Steam icon, I'll click on it and then click play. At this point, you're probably wondering, we're launching it out of Origin, how exactly are we going to have the Steam overlay, achievements, etc. Well, don't worry, my username is now green, and if I pull across my friends list, you'd also see me in-game. But of course, it's asking me to quickly log in. I'll go ahead and do that. After logging in and making sure to remember my password, just to make it a bit easier next time, you can see I'm now playing Battlefield 5 in Steam, and the game will be launching up momentarily. It also says that I'm playing Battlefield 5 inside of the Origin launcher over here. So heading into the actual game itself, you already saw the pop-up for Steam Overlay. And now you can see the pop-up for Origin Overlay. So Shift F1 for the Origin Overlay works perfectly. Closing this and hitting Shift Tab opens up the Steam Overlay perfectly as well. The game's working basically as normal, we just had to launch it through the Origin launcher instead of through Steam. Annoyingly so, it's still using the two platforms at once, but at least we can play the game that we paid for. From here, I can simply click play in Steam and the game seems to launch fine. Again, I didn't have the issue today, but when I did these exact steps, fixed this issue completely and I was able to launch it up normally. So with that aside, hopefully this video helped you get where you needed to. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.